Hey guys, this is Kenjido, and welcome to another MakeShot Pro video. In this video, I'm doing something a little bit different. Uh, this is going to actually be walking through a specific project that I was working on, uh, and I wanted to share with you guys what I learned. The goal was to take a less than optimal scan of a stick figure and be able to produce a clean and by clean, I mean clean edged black and white image uh, so that it could be fed into a tool like a silhouette to be able to cut a new version uh, in vinyl of that same design. So there were two constraints that I was trying to hold myself to. One was to only use PaintShop Pro, no other software. And two was to not have any manual brushwork. And the idea behind that is I just didn't want to be doing any kind of erasing or small touch up or anything like that, that I purely wanted to just be able to apply adjustments and effects to get to the solution. And primarily because in this particular image, yes, I could have hand retraced all of the lines in something like sketchbook, but that works for only simple images. And I wanted a process that could be used for much more complex images or images maybe even unrelated to this, but that would involve a lot more work if you did it manually. Um, that this approach would work for anything, say, an image like this. On a side note, however, on that topic, what I would recommend is whatever project you're working on, if you are obviously care about time, you should take whatever approach makes the most sense and is the most efficient. So if your project is simple enough and retracing line art makes sense there, go ahead and do that. If you have something where you'd rather not do the line art or you prefer not to do hand-drawn stuff because you don't have a tablet or something, you should consider doing this approach that we're about to get started with. So getting started, the key to being able to isolate the stick figures so that we can have a nice, clean, line-drawn looking effect at the end is to get as much separation between the white stick figure and this sort of cyan background. And so the first thing that I'm really trying to do is saturate that white area. Since it's so close to white and we know that the max value of a pure white is 255, I'm kind of checking what are the values and we can see that it's not a perfect 255. So I'm using the midtone highlight shadow tool to try to just affect the brightest parts, the whitest white parts to try to bring them all the way up to 255. That way it'll be a lot easier to select with the selection tool when we get to that phase. So next I'm going to invert the image using the negative image function. This will now convert my pure white stick man into the color black, which is what I want in the end. Now I'm going to use the level tools to kind of see as I bring this up and create some separation between the line art and the background. Um, we can see that it stands out a little bit more. As we zoom in and look at the actual details of the black line, we can see that there's a lot of noise in there. And so even trying to create some separation is going to be difficult because whether I darken or lighten some things, both the background and the line art are going to be affected. So what I need to do is to apply a tool that will allow me to smooth out, if you will, that black line. And by smoothing out that black line, all of those pixels that make up the black line will be closer to each other, closer in luminance value and color, that is. And in doing so, I'll be able to use something like levels or a brightness contrast tool to create even more separation between the actual line art and the red background in this case. So what I'm going to use is the edge preserving smooth. And what you'll see is as we apply this tool, that all of that noise inside the line is going to now be smoothed out. It won't be perfect, but it'll definitely be smoothed out. And all those pixels in luminance will be much closer to each other. But the sharpness of the edge is still going to be preserved. So now at this stage, it's going to be a lot easier to use the levels tool to isolate just the pure black pieces. And looking at the histogram on that tool, you'll see there's a nice big bump for where the black lines are and then another hump for where all the red is. So now when we use the pick tool to analyze the black line drawing, we'll see that it's all perfectly black, like all full zeros all the way across. And we've still preserved that nice crisp separation line between the red and the black line. 
So next for the selection part, I'm going to create a new layer and fill it completely with black. And that's what I'm going to use to cut out of, if you will, uh, the selection I'm going to generate from the reference image. So going back to the original image, I'm going to use the magic wand selection tool with a very low tolerance because all of my pixels should be pretty much the same value of completely black and select all of the line pieces. And in this case, just to prevent any specs from showing up, I'm going to do a contiguous selection and then shift click to add the smile and the eyes. Now, even in doing so, looking at the image, there's still some holes in the selection because uh, as can be kind of seen, either the scan wasn't very good or the sensor for the scan wasn't perfect. So there were still some stray pixels that seemed to kind of be off. But what's nice is PaintShop Pro has a selection modifier where you can remove specs and holes. So we're going to use that here to clean up the selection. So now that we have our selection clean and doesn't have holes and everything, then I can take it and invert it because I want to essentially delete everything except for the stick man part, apply that selection to my fully black layer, hit delete, and now you can see what remains is a crisp and fully filled in homogeneously black lined rendering of that stick figure. And by merging all the layers and deleting the reference image, we now have our final image. So just to recap, the goal here was to try to maximize the amount of separation in pixel data, right? The, you know, something like a pure black to a non-black so that we could use the selection tool on exactly the portions of the image we wanted and be able to delete everything else. But the key since the scan was so noisy and so grainy, it was a pretty difficult scan to work with. The key to achieving that separation was using a bit of contrast, but also applying the edge preserving smooth tool to make sure that all of that noise was kind of removed at the point of being able to separate the red from the black. I think in general, I'm pretty happy with how the result is. It's not perfect, but it should definitely work for something with a silhouette. I hope Along the way in this process, you learn something both in the goal of what I was trying to achieve, but also maybe how some of these other tools can be used. So essentially, that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, that's it for this one, and I will see you next time.